Yo, how you doing? So I don't know how long this video may be, but I felt like I kind of had to do this because we need to have a conversation here. This is something that's quite serious. So literally as of right now, the web app is going to be dropped at any second, right? This is literally at six o'clock on the release day of the web app on 21st, right? EA has just dropped a complete foot launch pitch notes update and they put in a lot of information about informs, player months, heroes, whatever, right? Later on down that article, or down the pitch notes, they go into thief points. Now, I want to have a talk with you guys, show you guys what's going on because pe people may not even know that the game's even out. Um, for you guys that still puts money in the game, God help you, don't know why you do it, um, and I'm a literal person that my job relies on this game, and even I don't do it, so if I can live without it, then so can you, and I will be doing a video tomorrow morning about how you guys can make coins easily in a game, just by sniping, investing, or just by playing a game like a basic human being, so... Uh, let's just get into this, because this is, uh, interesting to say the least. Yo, do you play FIFA 22? Yeah. Is your team bang average? You absolute pathetic piece of- You're saying that to the viewers? No, obviously. Ah, oh, okay. I mean you. Do you face teams like this? You can't keep getting away with it! Do you know there's a way to get coins? Why are you shouting at me? <laughs> then go to youcevive.com for the cheapest and most reliable place to buy your coins on FIFA 22. Link is down below in the description. And also use code VISA at checkout to get a discount. So here you go. Here's a pitch notes. I'll leave a link if you really want, but you can believe me. Trust me. And... You can go down below, a lot of things go into, and right at the bottom, and you will see, it, it's not even option, it's not even a thing here, but it's in like the foot pre-season rewards and EA Play member benefits. So it says here, early access launch is on the 27th, so it's confirmed there and then, so we'll get it on the same day as the Ultimate Edition, quite annoying, but it is what it is, right? You go down and you got things about what, your team of the week and want to watch us, and I don't really care about this. You can read all this, I think they're changing a few things about informs, a few things about play the mumps we can see this on a later date that's not what i care about now go below these are all the play the mumps and heroes um these are all the heroes of the game um all the brand new ones as well same thing for the marvel heroes which is really cool sure thing new icons we've already seen these and all the icons there and then go down below foot store update this is the new update for fifa 23 and I, I don't like it because I feel like there's a massive problem with this and I feel like it's kind of forcing people to spend even more money. For the longest time, it's been 4,600 FIFA points and as you can see right here, it's going to be right above you right now. So on the top row, it says the point options for FIFA 22. And you can see there's a variety of all the options in dollars as it is an American company. And you can see all the options there. And below is what FIFA 23 is. And as you can see, they've actually removed some FIFA point options. They've removed the 250 FIFA points and 750 FP, which um, is interesting. Some people, they actually may need that to try to like, you know, maybe fill out the entire balance. I find it cheeky how they've got rid of the, the, the 250 and 750, but they left a one what one all 50 so it's almost like they're forcing people to spend even more money because typically what happens let's say you put some points on and you have you know you, you spend your points but you, but you may have like you know like really annoying 50 like fewer points still in the account so you just spend 250 fp and open to 7.5k so that it goes down to zero so like and like an all cd sort of thing but well, they got rid of that and that if you do want to do that then you've got to spend um ten dollars mate um to try to get that and you know to, to protect to protect your all cd that's one thing that i've done before in the past when i was younger and now to realize that if you would want to do that instead of, instead of spending you know one pound 80 or two dollars 50 um you can go and spend um, ten dollars altogether or like seven pounds something so that's very interesting and th that's not the main thing the main thing is is the bigger ones so so there's no longer 2200 fp um that's now removed it's now 2800 fp 600 fp more 600 feet 600 thief points more for five dollars extra. It's not really much of a deal. You save yourselves like a dollar or two. Like for example, if you get the 1,002, let's say for example, you get the 1,600 FP and then you spend ten dollars more to get 2,500, then you will be on 2,600. So you get an extra 200 fewer points. Well done. You can get yourself a, a 7.5k pack. Um, and then there's the next one, which is an extra ten dollars. So the reason why I have an issue with this, and 
I'm a person which has very much been um, against, you know, I've been against, you know, buying FP, you know, I advertise coin sellers, if people will want to put money in the game, at least they should know what they get back. If they want to put £100 in the game, you know, instead of putting it on fuel points, because it's completely random, and you are not guaranteed anything, and most likely 95% of the time you're going to get nothing, what will happen is that if you put £100 onto your know, coins on a coin website, if 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 you put £100 in to get, I don't know, how many thousands of coins, you get that. That's how much you get. It's guaranteed. It's a transaction. They've removed 4,600 fuel points, and instead it's now 5,900. For whatever reason, they chose that sum. And there's a reason why. There's a very scientific reason why they picked that amount. And it is an extra $10. So... I realize that most people, especially younger people, they may not have enough money for, let's say, their birthday gifts or Christmas gifts to go and spend the full 12k, the full big, sh your big pal, the the big shebang, you know, the, the all 70, 70 odd quid or hundred dollars. Most people can't do that, and they've kept that the same. Thank you so much, boys. Um, but people who cannot do that go for the next one below 4,600. That's what people like to do quite a lot, and. That's what people typically do. I know a lot of young people that does that. I did that when I was like 13, 14. I couldn't spend 12K. I spent 4,600. And issue is, is that that's now gone and you've got to spend an extra $10 extra, like seven pound, eight pound more to get the next best thing. So they're kind of, the worst part is, it's not even like a deal, like 5,900 fuel points is basically $50, but 12,000 is $100. So, Basically, the reason to jump up to a 12k is, what, to save 200 FIFA points? I don't know, like, usually the, the benefit of getting the bigger one is that you can get additional points. So that's, you know, like, if you got it in small amounts, you're spending more money for less. But here, it's not really like that at all. Like, it's very minuscule really so give me your thoughts on this do you think this may be this may lead to people spending more money or could it be a good thing that people you know that may get the usual 4,600 for the brand new promo they may have a step back thinking oh it's another ten dollars now or oh, it's another eight pound now seven pound now maybe i shouldn't do it you know and maybe they go for the lesser one like 2,800 and i don't know give me your thoughts on this i kind of feel like this is there's a reason why they've done this there's a reason and it's the last fifa as well so i feel like like they kind of are they really want to up up the stakes of the bigger ones because people want to and say if you guys want if you guys want a lot of fp then spend a, then, sp then give us an extra fiver another tenner it may not seem like much but over the course of thousands of purchases that will add up give me your thoughts down below in the comments about the brand new fuel point prices i kind of feel like this is probably ea's last um, hurrah to get each penny from their customers into the brand new eafc Give me your thoughts down below. Of course, I won't be taking part in this. And I hope you guys want as well, for your own sake, because it's not really worth it. So, yeah. Tell me down below.